Hi and welcome to the Knits That Fit YouTube channel. My name is Jacqueline and I am the creator of the Knits That Fit apps and knitting patterns. If you've never heard of Knits That Fit before, the Knits That Fit apps create custom knitting patterns that are calculated using the specific measurements and other information that you enter in the pattern settings in the app. This is the very first video that I'm making for my YouTube channel, so I am really excited. In this video, I am going to show you how you can quickly and easily create a simple sweater knitting pattern in the free Knits That Fit Sweaters app. The free Knits That Fit Sweaters app enables you to create simple sweater knitting patterns. It's a great way to get a feel for how the Knits That Fit apps work and can help you to decide if the premium version of Knits That Fit Sweaters is right for you. I'm going to be showing you how to do this on an iPhone, but if you're using an Android device, the process is exactly the same. So let's get started! If you haven't done so already, you will need to download the Knits That Fit Sweaters app from the App Store or from Google Play. Just click on one of the links I've provided below or search for Knits That Fit Sweaters. When you first open the app, a welcome message will appear with a summary of what you can do in the Knits That Fit Sweaters app. When you have read and cleared the message, you will see two main options free pattern or purchase upgrade. There is also another button in the bar at the top of the screen for help FAQs for useful information on how to use the app. Creating a free pattern in Knits That Fit Sweaters is simple and easy. Just tap free pattern. If this is your first time using the app, pop-up messages like this one will appear to guide you through the process of creating your first pattern. Just read through each message and tap got it to clear. At the top of the screen there is a settings guide button. Tapping this will show you a detailed guide to each of the settings parameters, which include the premium parameters. You can come back to this guide at any time. Before you start, check that the measurement unit and needle size system preferences in the first section match those that you will be using. These are default settings that are used for all of the patterns that you create in the app. The default preferences are for measurements in inches and US needle size system. To change either or both, just tap on one of the values to bring up the unit's preferences screen. Simply select the measurement units and needle size system that you regularly use. Tapping the back button at the top of the screen will take you back to the settings screen without saving any changes. To save your changes and return to the settings screen, just tap the Save Preferences button at the bottom. Create your first pattern. Tap in the box and type a name for your pattern. Scroll down to the Yarn Details section and type a description for your yarn. Now choose the needle size and then the gauge of yarn that you will be using. Finally, scroll down to the size section. Choose either a UK or US size. Select your size and you will see that the body and garment measurements have been populated in the table. You can now go ahead and save, and here you have it, you've created your first pattern. At the top of the screen, you will now see that there are three tabs, with text being the one that's currently selected. You can return to the settings screen to review your pattern settings at any time. You can also edit your settings if you wish. In the free app, you can adjust the total length, and you can adjust the actual sleeve length. Just remember to tap save when you've finished. 
That's all there is to it. Creating your first pattern in the free Knits That Fit Sweaters app is that easy. Now all you need to do is go ahead and knit your garment. And here it is. This will be the perfect sweater for both cooler days. I decided to finish my neckline by knitting the neckband to double length and folding it in. This option is included in the knitting instruction text. In this video, and when using the Knits That Fit Sweaters app, you will have noticed other settings that we've not used. These settings are for premium only. In the free version of the app, you can tap on these settings. You won't be able to change them, but you can get a good idea of the extra options that are included with premium. If you decide you want to upgrade to premium at any point, you can easily do this in app by choosing upgrade from any of the pop-up boxes or by tapping the purchase upgrade button on the app start page. If you're using an Apple device, you also have the option to purchase Knits That Fit Sweaters Premium direct from the App Store as a separate app instead of as an in-app purchase. Thank you for watching. I hope you'll find this video useful and that you will enjoy using Knits That Fit Sweaters. In my next video, I'm going to be showing you details of the Knits That Fit Sweaters Premium features and how to create a complete pattern in Knits That Fit Sweaters Premium. I'll also be bringing you more videos about using the Knits That Fit apps as well as some really useful knitting tips. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you don't miss out. See you again soon.